We're gonna be starting soon, but I just wanna let you know, as you're going through this training and you're learning from these different agents, I want you to be social. I want you to get out your phone and be social. Make sure you're tagging them on social media, tagging them on Facebook and Instagram, posting your stories, and please be social, do some hashtags, and be tagging us and sharing to your story. I'm excited for what you're about to learn. Stay tuned, we're gonna get started real soon. So for you, I want you to think about right now, think about where you're at. What is holding you back? What is it that you know, you know what it is, you know, what is the thing that you've been wanting to do for so long, but you haven't done it because you're afraid that somebody's going to shut you down. You're afraid that people are going to make fun of you. You're afraid you're going to fail. But you know what? I would much rather try than always wonder, what if? What if? What if I, I went and started that business? What if I left my job and I started a company? What if? You do not want to wake up one day, look back in your life and say, what if? I would much rather be out of my comfort zone, do things that scare the hell out of me, and go after my dreams, than one day wake up and say, what if? So for you, think about what you need to be doing. You know what it is. How's it going everyone? Brennan C. Adams here, your host for the night. We're gonna be starting the virtual real estate event here real soon. We have a great lineup of speakers for you. There's gonna be a lot of great content for you to apply in your business. And before we get started, when we do get started here, I wanna make sure you're tentative, you have everything else shut off. Please have a piece of paper, pen, be able to write this down, write down your notes. You're gonna learn so much tonight. I'm so excited for the speakers, what they're gonna bring for you and value to your business. So stay tuned and we'll be seeing you soon. Overnight success doesn't exist. Overnight success takes years of hard work and never giving up. Every day I wake up with a drive and passion to get better and master my craft. You hear about the successes, but how often do you hear about the failures? I've pitched Arctic Stick to crowds that laughed at me, I've heard no hundreds of times, and have been told I'm wasting my time. If you stick with something long enough, Success is bound to find you. 
Opportunities will present themselves and you need to take them. You must believe in yourself and share your vision with others because people will follow you. Once you build your team, you must steer them in the right direction. Greatness will come and success will bring more opportunities that you could have never imagined. People will attract to you and your voice will be heard. With years of hard work and never giving up, all of a sudden you will find your overnight success. In life, I believe you should create something great and become unforgettable because life is too short not to. My name is Brennan T. Adams and I urge you to go after your overnight success. Make it yours. What are you waiting for? How's it going everyone? Brandon T. Adams here. Welcome to the Virtual Real Estate Seminar. I'm your host for the night and I'm so excited for everything you're going to learn. We have a great lineup of speakers, real estate agents and people in the real estate industry that are going to share their tips and tricks on how they're having success in business and even specifically how they're taking on everything with COVID-19 and how they're dealing with it and different things you can learn from them, things they're applying in their business. I have a lot of things I'm going to be sharing with you on video marketing and branding, how you can apply these different tactics from the convenience of your home because a lot of us, we're, during, we're in quarantine right now and we can't leave our home. I'm gonna share some of the things with you that I'm sharing with my top clients from around the country who sell real estate. And before we jump into this, I wanna share a video, a quick video, about how crowdfunding actually led me to working with real estate agents. It went from crowdfunding to producing TV shows and then working with the top agents from around the country. So before we get started, let's start this video. Crowdfunding has raised people thousands of dollars, and we have a crowdfunding expert here with us this morning, Brandon T. Adams. With joining me now is Brandon Adams. Brandon Adams. Brandon yeah. Adams joining us. We're here with Brandon T. Adams. With Brandon Adams. Brandon Adams, the founder of Arctic Stick, an entrepreneur who successfully raised more than twenty-five thousand dollars. I've been waiting for the chance to prove myself. Brandon T. Adams. He's a pretty amazing guy that has a gift for teaching. I've shared the stage with Brandon. I've no doubts that his message is one that resonates with entrepreneurs. You're afraid that people are gonna make fun of you. You're afraid you're gonna fail. But you know what? I would much rather try than always wonder what if. Brandon T. Adams is probably one of the hardest working young men that I have met in today's society when it comes to entrepreneurship. I will impact one billion lives in a positive way. And I'll do this through inspiration, motivation, education, through the power of speaking, podcasting, online education, masterminds, events, and my TV show. If you're still looking to start a business or grow your business or build a brand or just grow your success in life, you gotta check in with Brandon Adams. Being part of the Entrepreneur Accelerator Program with Brandon Adams was seriously the best investment that I could have ever done in my entire life. He has worked with me one-on-one -on -one every single week and he put me in a group of people that I can now consider my friends and family. Brandon Adams, he's an incredible guy. How he hustles and everything that he does, he's willing to help others who are motivated and hardworking and he wants others to grow and really create a movement. You can become an influencer, you can become a great speaker, you can become whatever you want in life. When you're uncomfortable, that means you're growing. And when it scares you, that means you're doing good things. He's always got like this idea. You can always see his eyes are lighting up. And when you have someone at the helm who has that power and, and mission, you want to get behind them because that's called an A-team and you want to be on the A-team. We're watching the launch of one of America's new generational leaders. I highly suggest working with Brandon. You do not want to wake up one day, look back in your life and say, what if? Don't be the what if. Just do it. If you go after your dreams, when you pursue it, you're going to live a fulfilled life.
Man, it's crazy to think where my journey has taken me from doing crowdfunding and even selling real estate. You know, I actually sold real estate back in 2008. I did for a few years. The reason why I got into real estate was because somebody told me I couldn't pass the exam the first time around. And so when somebody tells me I can't do something, what do I do? I go and do it. So my last semester of college, I actually went and took the exams, um, did the training and everything else. I passed the first time and that guy became my broker. I sold real estate for a few years and then I realized that that wasn't going to be my one thing. I wanted to focus more on video production and at that time I was helping people raise money. And all this I'm sharing with you is really gonna lead up to why video is so important and why building your brand is so important and how it can help you with attracting more leads in your business. So I got out of real estate, I actually let my license go, but now I'm sitting actually in the process of getting my real estate license to go in referral status to refer to all my best friends and clients from around the country who are killing it in real estate, some of the people that I work with, and going in the referral status for real estate. But why I left in the first place was because I wanted to become the best in crowdfunding and also I was doing video production. So I was helping people raise money for their ideas or inventions. I've raised money for films, TV shows, books, inventions, you name it, uh, different startups, even my own endeavors. And what I learned in the process was there was one key component of why we raised the money and how we raised the money. It was the video. The video that we created that helped raise the money for the invention or whatever it is we were doing, the video attracted people. When people watched that video, there was emotional connection. There was this, this uh, story that was told behind it. A video tells a story. We explain the product, we explain the offering. We use that in ads, we use it on social media. But that was the main thing that drove the campaigns that allowed us to have some of the most successful crowdfunding campaigns today. And after doing that and creating more videos, I realized I like this video thing. So what did I do? I started utilizing video in my business. I started utilizing video again with my clients, but I wanted to go all in. I wanted to create more video content. And I actually got this opportunity to work with a guy by the name of Greg Rolette. And this will lead into a video we're gonna play in here a bit by Greg and he gives some advice for real estate agents. And Greg said, hey Brandon, I had this idea for a TV show called Ambitious Adventures. And if you help me crowdfund it, I'll make you my co-host and we'll go travel the country and film this show called Ambitious Adventures. Long story short, I took it, took the opportunity, went and filmed the show, changed my life and it made me realize I wanted to go all in on video content. And since then, I've spent over a half a million dollars of video content, I've utilized it for my own brand, different brands that I've built and even working with other people around the country. And the reason why video is so powerful or so powerful for you and the reason why you should be creating video content for your business is there are multiple reasons. For one, it's the quickest thing on social media right now that'll help you get attention. Even before the quarantine and COVID-19, people, when they're going through social media, they're looking at videos more and more. They're looking at videos more than they are a picture. And with people home right now, what's happening is everybody's on their phone. The eyeballs are on the phone. They're watching LinkedIn, they're looking at Instagram, they're looking at Facebook, they're looking at the social media platforms, they're watching other people, and they wanna learn from them because they wanna develop themselves to become better, and even during this time, but also later when we're out of the quarantine. So video is a powerful thing to utilize on social media, and, and I've seen it not only for myself, but also all the real estate agents that I work with and some of the agents that are gonna be speaking today. So it, it quickly spreads on social media, but also there's another thing that video does. Videos tell stories. You look at storytelling in itself. For thousands of years, we've been telling stories. You look at Martin Luther King, he told stories. You look at Gandhi, he created a movement. He told great stories through communication and speaking. You look at Steve Jobs, some of the greatest product launches of all time, he told stories. You look at the Bible, for thousands of years, it was, it was stories that were written in a book. You look at my uh, great guy I look up to, I would say mentor, but he's, he's no longer with us, but Napoleon Hill wrote the book Think and Grow Rich in 1937, and it's full of stories of successful people that have achieved success in their own way, and he created principles off of these uh, different successful people, and in the book, it shares story, and st to this day, it's still applicable for everything in terms of having success and whatever success means to you. And again, it all goes back to storytelling. Now in 2020, in the time frame we're in, the best way to tell a story is through a video. 
It's through creating videos and sharing your story through social media. It's proven actually when people can see your eyes, they're more likely to trust you. There's a lot of communication that happens beyond my voice. It happens with your body gesture, with your facial movement, when you smile. When you smile at somebody, they're more likely to smile at you back. They're more likely to think you're a nice person. They're more likely to like you and trust you. And in real estate, you know, people buy from who they like, trust, and know. And also, when you share your story, your personal story, your business story, you build this connection with your audience where what happens is they're more likely to attract you. They're more likely to have this commonality between you where they want to hire you versus somebody else. And also, you could be the best at what you do, but if people don't know about you, how do they know to hire you? The best way to get your point across and reach a lot of people is through creating videos and publishing on social media. And that's what I've done. That's what I've done with a lot of the clients that I work with, clients in my Success Academy. I've helped them get in front of the camera and communicate their message, do it in a right way, in a way that attracts more opportunities and in a way where they look good on camera. They know what to do with their hands. They know what to do with their facial expressions. They know what to say. They know how to organize their thoughts from, a lot of people say, well, do I share 50% personal stories? Do I share 50% business? What are the things that I share on camera? How do I communicate that? Where do I put it on social media? What platforms, what time? All these different questions. And these are things I've learned from just creating a lot of video content. So the one big thing you're gonna to learn today from the different agents that are gonna be speaking is for one, video is important for your business. Two, social media is key. Creating content on social media and becoming omnipresent. Three is the power of trust and relationships. Building like and trust with your audience and building relationships. And some of the agents are gonna share different unique ways that they're building relationships with their audience, with even their clients, the team, and everybody they work with. And doing it in a way where people understand like, hey, they, they tell their audience, we're here to support you. We want to help you in any way we can, and they're there for them. Those are the things you need to be doing right now is really letting your audience know, your current clients, your past clients, and everybody, even your family and friends, letting them know that you're there for them and doing it in the right way. And all the different agents are going to share their own perspective on what they're doing for this. Now, before we jump into with uh, going and having all the real estate agents speaking everything they know about real estate and how you can apply these different tactics in your business, I first want to share a message from my buddy, Greg Roulette. He's the guy that got me into the TV space and from, since filming with Greg, I've went on to produce two more TV shows, a movie, even win Emmy Awards. And he's, I look up to him, he's a mentor, and I said, Greg, what would be your best advice for a real estate agent if they're looking to grow their business and grow their brand today? And here we're gonna go right into a message from Greg Roulette. Here it is. If you were a real estate agent today, what would you do to build your brand influence online to be able to attract more opportunities and get the most sales? Yeah, so regardless of what niche you're in, there are two questions that I'm gonna ask you right off the bat to really hone in on this and to build your strategy. Those questions are, who do you wanna be known to and what do you wanna be known for? So if you're a real estate agent, who do you want to be known to? Do you want to be known to people that live in a certain subdevelopment? Do you want to be known to uh, oceanfront homes? Do you want to be known to Kinda everyone niche. in the condos? It's your niche, but it's if this group of people knew who you were, you would never have to worry about business ever again. So, and it doesn't, and, and, and I want you to throw the typical uh, target marketing out the window, like males who are 35 to 45 who drive this kind of car, like no. Who are the pocket of people that you want to be known to? You want to be known to every Jewish resident in, in a certain area. You want to be known to, you know, people who are buying their first home and they want to, and they're baseball players. Like, but figure out who you want to be known to. Then to them, well, what do you want to be known for to them? Because are you just known as a nice guy? Yeah. That doesn't result in good business. Um, you know, and when I ask this question, people are like, well, I want to be known for great customer service. Well, I'm like, if I need to buy a home today, I'm like, man, I really need to find someone who's good at customer service. No, they're like, I need to find somebody who can sell my house in like now, now <laughs> yeah. right? So then you want to be known for selling houses fast or you want to be known for you know, getting top dollar in minimum time, or you want to be known for first time home buyers, or you want to be known as a family specialist, or you want to be known, like, what do you want to be known for within that group of people? So who do you want to be known to? 
Okay. What do you and want to be known, you for? known for? Now, you can be known for multiple things, right? So even someone like you, you might be known for video and video marketing and growing, yeah. and, but you also are known for branding. Yes. But you're also known for success. But the main thing is the, the, the core niche of the video and the rest comes. Well, and, and so, but I also think that people aren't just one dimensional, right? Like you, you don't just do video. No. And so people always get bogged down like, well, I don't want to get, I don't want to just be the video. Well, you, cool. You can be Brandon Adams and underneath the Brandon Adams umbrella, you're, uh, you have the video side, you have the branding side and let's call it the success side, right? Mm -hmm. For your, your TV show and, and yeah. all of that. Well, every piece of content that you put out, so let's say real estate agent, you're watching this, we wanna get specific to yeah, real estate agents. Real estate. So you wanna be known for selling homes fast, you wanna be known for, uh, let's call it families and helping families, uh, and then you also wanna be known for uh, 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 lakefront properties, right? Lake Doesn't front, matter, yeah. right? So those three things that you wanna be known for. Well now, we're gonna go and create content and every piece of content that you put out, someone should watch it and go, oh, he's the lakefront guy. Oh, he's the family guy. Oh, he's the first time home buyer guy. And so that way, it doesn't matter what video you create, doesn't matter what you talk about, as long as they fit you into those buckets. Now, if you put out 20 videos, all 20 videos point you into one of those three buckets. So if someone sees a video, they know exactly what to put you in. In branding, you know, we get caught in this whole thing of like, we need a USP, we need to be unique, we need to be, yeah, but if I need to buy a house, I need somebody that can help me to buy a house, yeah. right? And so I want you to pigeonhole yourself into something that people can actually hire you for. I like how Greg says, who do you want to be known to and what do you want to be known for? That's the starting place. What do you want people to know you as? You know, your brand is who you are, what you stand for, and what you communicate to the world. So when you think about that, that will really decide what you see on camera, what you share with the world on social media. So when people see this, day in and day out, they're gonna start attracting to you and starting knowing you as that person. So what do you wanna be known, the niche in your space for helping people with real estate? Is it the first time home buyer? Is it the, the lake house home working with people, maybe selling timberland, whatever it may be? And yes, you're gonna be known for that and you are gonna attract other people that are gonna to wanna to work with you, but what is the core thing that you do that's gonna help attract those people to you? The next video I'm gonna go into is from my buddy, uh, Kevin Harrington, the original shark of Shark Tank. And Kevin, talk, Kevin talks about the power of your brand. You know, Kevin talks about how literally building his brand, he, when he started out, he was helping people build their brands through the infomercial. And then he realized, I gotta build my own brand. And when he did that, when he started doing the speaking, doing the video content, doing the podcasting, writing books, doing all these different things, this is what attracted Mark Burnett to handpick him for Shark Tank, for him literally get on Shark Tank. And I wanna share this video because it really pounds home why your brand is so important. And I really believe if you wanna be the top 1% in your real estate market, you wanna be the best, you gotta be the shark in your space. So here's a message from my good friend, Kevin Harrington. It's, I'm not just a product guy, although I love products, but I'm now, I'm, I'm an equity owner in about 25 companies, and some of them are public, some are private, but it's just a load of fun, and I never know what my day is going to be. And entail. it all happened because, for one, let's go back, you started to build your brand, yeah, and then building your brand got the attention of Mark Burnett, so then that gave you a great opportunity, and then people are coming to you. I mean, you probably turn down opportunities every single day. You know, I turned down quite a few more things than I can take on just because, you know, there's only so much time in a day and I want to focus on the real winners and focus on the real people that make a, that can make a difference in my life. So what is really moving the needle? You think about everything you're doing. What is the core thing right now that you do that moves the needle to get more sales? Well, so I would say, I would say exactly what we're, we're talking about is as I continue to raise my profile. I mean, even think about the Kardashians, the, the Gary V's of the world. What is, Gary V's got a, a person that follows him around with a camera. Rock, yeah. Okay, and, what, and what's he doing? He's just creating That's content. That's you, Herb. Right? <laughs> yeah. okay? So he's creating content on a daily basis because he's continuing to have his profile out in everybody's face on yeah. a regular basis, right? So, you know, we're creating content. I'm writing, I'm podcasting, I've got my own podcast, I speak. Um, so I have my own way of doing things, but I attend a lot of trade shows also. So I go to the houseware show, the hardware show, yeah. the fitness show, the beauty show, the golf show, the toy fair, etc. So go to trade shows, speak, go to chambers get out of there. commerce, get out there, build your brand. You know, I love how Kevin has built his brand and how he's invested in his brand and what it's done for him. For one, getting on Shark Tank, which was a jackpot for him, and, and also everything he's done after that. You know, Kevin and I have worked on a lot of projects together, 
Before this COVID-19 happened, we were gonna be actually, uh, about a week ago, we were gonna be in Canada speaking at the Canadian Wealth Summit, which was going to be a huge event with a lot of people in the real estate industry there. Uh, Kevin Hart was gonna be there, Grant Cardone, uh, Sunil Tolsiani, who has one of the largest private investment groups of real estate in the country. And Kevin and I were gonna be there talking about branding. And, you know, we've worked with a lot of people in real estate. And you know, I, I love working with people in real estate because we understand what it takes and we understand that as a real estate agent, it is important for you to build your brand to attract more opportunities. And not only does it attract opportunities for your business, attracting leads to sell homes, but also if you ever wanna do things outside of real estate, that you can do with your brand, whether it's public speaking, whether it's selling a digital products or doing different things that are outside of selling homes. And I'm sure right now with everything going on in the current recession we're in, people are starting to think, well, what are the things I can do digitally? And I've even myself, and I've been online for a long time, thinking about different ways to generate revenue digitally. So think about for yourself, different things you can do. And the next guest I have who is, in my mind, he's a shark in his space. He uh, actually has eight market centers that have over a thousand agents that did two billion in sales last year. He's in the Washington DC area and his name is Brandon Green. We're both, uh, he's good friends, uh, a good friend of mine. We both grew up in Iowa. We have a lot in common, have the same first name, but Brandon is awesome. And I love how he's been transitioning his brand and he's doing more coaching and he's even doing some other things. He has some ideas in the works for doing his own kind of show. And he's really built his brand. I've been working with him now for about 18 months. And he's gonna share everything he's doing right now for his business, how he's going more digital, even more than ever before. And also he's gonna share with you some mindset tactics and in terms of meditation, everything he does every single day, because it is a little different now that we're at the convenience of our home. It's like you gotta really make sure you're doing things for your business and not getting sidetracked. Then he talks about a program actually has flip your finances and how you really need to take control of your finances. We both um, have seen this in our lives. For one, when people make money, that's one thing, but are you saving all your money? Are you uh, just saving money for taxes? And also right now he talks about how you need to be cutting your expenses and living lean during the re this recession and how you can put yourself in a position to be number one when this is all said and done with. And without further ado, I wanna to bring to you my good friend and one of our speakers, Brandon Green. Hey there, my name is Brandon Green and I'm in the real estate business. I've been in the business since 2001, which if you're doing some fast math, you realize that I went through the last financial crisis in 2008 and 2009. And in hindsight, those were some of our best, most effective years. We brought a lot of, of operating practices out of that time frame that has allowed us to grow a pretty substantial real estate business today. So at this moment, we've got several brokerage offices and investments in a variety of different real estate fields. And so I thought I would come today to this platform and just share with you a little bit of some of the lessons learned during that time. Clearly, how we've gotten into this crisis is unique and different. It is, is uh, certainly a lot different than 2008. But the fact that we're here means that a lot of the things that are going to play out are similar. And a lot of the principles that we learned in the last financial crisis really apply to succeeding in this one today. So I wanted to share some of those with you today. So the first one is a mindset routine. Now, chances are you've already heard a lot about having a great mindset, but what does it mean to have a mindset routine? Meaning, what do you do on a daily basis to keep your mind in check? And I'll tell you what I do. The first thing is meditation in the morning. Now, if you're not a meditator, I'm not saying, you know, sit without thoughts for an hour. I mean, that's, I think, completely impractical. Though what I am saying is now could be a great time for you to establish a routine of meditation, and maybe that starts with just one minute. Because what we know is that the brain is constantly trying to figure things out. And especially now, you can't really figure anything out. And so what do you do with that? Right? There's a lot of adrenaline. There's a lot of fight or flight going in uh, to our thinking patterns. And meditation allows the prefrontal cortex to kick in and allows for a lot more creativity and reason to also take hold. So mindset, routine, point number one for me is meditation in the morning. And then at the end of the day, just sort of taking stock of the day and asking myself, great, what went well today and what do I want to bring into the next day? So, you know, for example, uh, just a few days ago, 
I felt like I'd done a really good job of executing a lot of difficult decisions, and as a result, I was very intense. And so what I wanted to bring forward for me the following day was more peacefulness. So sort of the end of the day check, saying, how did I do? Not in a judging way, just how did I do? And what do I want to bring into the next day? And give yourself a lot of grace and support during this time. This is a day-by-day -day moment. And I suspect that when we look back on this period of time, we will find one of the biggest gifts is it did give us all the opportunity to really live day by day. And there's some real value in that. Mindset routine. Uh, the second one is now is an incredible time for you to build your community, to build your audience, to be producing a lot of content, and to be maximizing your opportunities to get on other people's stages and other people's audiences. The giving economy is huge right now, and, and make no mistake, that is going to create some wins for you on the back end. Right now, give as much of your time, resource, and expertise as possible. And I'm not saying do it in like a Mother Teresa completely selfless way. I mean, we know that by giving today, you'll be rewarded tomorrow. So what are you doing right now to build your audience, to build your community, and to build a lot of really great content? This is a really important one right now. And for me... I'm spending hours a day right now working on content and in, in terms of content, I'm coming up with a theme each week and then I'm talking to as many people as possible. I'm doing Instagram lives, I'm doing Facebook lives, I'm doing blog posts, I'm doing everything I can to push out a message around leadership and around peacefulness and centered and balanced. What are you doing in your business around that? How are you conveying to people who need to buy or sell? And quite frankly, like this is creating a huge opportunity where people are going to need to sell who did not expect that they would need to sell before. And so how are you making sure that you're there for them, that you're there for your clients? And the best way to do that is to build a large community and build a massive audience and to use other people's networks and stages to get onto those audiences. All of a sudden, everybody's doing these Zoom calls, right? So which Zoom calls are you getting on? And being able to talk about your expertise in a way that helps people. And it builds your contact list quite a bit. Uh, the third is cutting your expenses. Like now is the time. If you haven't already, you need to go through your business and identify three areas of expense cutting. One, the easy stuff, the no-brainers, the stuff you probably should have cut Oh, I don't know, last year, but now, now you're going to do it. Second are more painful cuts, and then the third are only the most severe cuts that you may have to make. I recommend going through that and making those three lists now on the business side and on the personal side. Look, at the end of the day, right now, if this is about getting down to the, to the nuts and bolts of your business as fast as possible and lightening your load uh, from an expense standpoint. So how can you do that? And it may require some difficult decisions, and it's going to require a sense of um, deep dive in your finances that may not be comfortable, though the extent to which you move quickly on this is going to make a big difference on how you're able to maximize the opportunities that come in on the back side of it. All right, my next one is uh, survive and position yourself to be number one. So what I mean by that is in all honesty, especially the next few months while we're in this lockdown mode, it's about surviving so that you can position yourself to be number one on the back end, right? So what do you need to do to make sure you're in business so that when things start to move really well again, you're there to take advantage of them? One of the things that's a little bit unique in this crisis is the 2008 and 9 did come on somewhat suddenly, but it still was a bit of a gradual. This has been a just a cascading collapse of activity. We don't know what that's going to mean on the back end, but we know there will be a back end. So what are you doing to make sure you're here for the back end? The big opportunities are created on the back end, but they're created by the people who stayed in the business through the crisis, who are able to stay in contact with people in a meaningful way, who were able to still conduct some business, even if it was constrained and significantly more limited than what you've been able to do before. So I want you to think about that. What do you need to do to survive, right? Um, Q2 goals, gone, like, bah, right? This is a bit of a day-to-day -day moment. You know in the long term, that, that things are going to turn up and turn well for you. In the short term, though, what do you do day by day to move through this, to, to be positive in your mindset, 
to be helpful with people, but be super practicable, practical about expenses. I mean, I found as I was going through some of this stuff for me that, you know, I'm thinking about what do I need to do to survive and position to, to be number one. On the survive side, it's just about expenses, right? Eliminating anything and everything that's not necessary. On the thrive side, to position yourself to be number one, I really think it's about reach outs, right? You Hopefully, you've, you've already got a good routine of lead generation. If not, now's a really good time. Though, at this point, I mean, you're at home, like eight hours a day, reach outs? I don't know. How many hours a day can you be creating conversations with people? To me, that's how you come out on the back end of this with a lot of success. So let me just recap here. First one is mindset routine. What, what are you doing? Think of mindset as, a, as an active, as a verb, and not just as a thing. But what are you doing on a daily basis to establish a new positive routine? For me, it's meditation in the morning, an accounting of the day, and then a resetting of expectations the following day. And actually, for me, it's also working out. Like I have made a commitment to myself that I'm going to do something physical every day, be it running, be it a class from the gym online, uh, be it yoga, I'm going to do something every day. That's really important. Build your community. Number two, this is the time to maximize your ability to reach out and generate content. Uh, if you weren't good at video before, get good at it. If you weren't blogging before, blog. Like Now's the time. Cut expenses is the next one. And then be thinking about what do you need to do to position yourself to be number one. You know, I was having a, an amazing conversation with Gary Keller over the weekend, and he was saying, Look, right now is the time for you to both be very, very present in the moment and be thinking about what kind of business and what kind of life do you want to have two years from now? And how do you guide your day-to-day -day actions around that idea? So it's both be in the now and be thoughtful about the creation of your life two years from now. What you do or do not do now is really making a difference in that. So thanks for, hey, thanks for being with me for a few minutes. Uh, I also uh, want to say... Thanks to Brandon T. Adams, too, and the work that he's doing around his academy, around his content. It's really an inspiration, and it's always exciting to be part of anything that he does. So uh, if you want to reach out to me, two good ways to do it. One is my website, brandongreen.com, and you can find links to follow me on the various social platforms. I uh, love an Instagram right now. I'm doing some of these Instagram lives with some really interesting people. So brandongreen.com and Brandon A. Green is my Instagram handle. And then also for real estate related stuff. So I have a company called realestateonpurpose.com. It's an affordable online coaching program. It's tremendous for folks that are looking to get into a solid routine. And if you work on, if you go under uh, coaching and then work with Brandon, I have a specific program that's designed to help you get a handle on your finances. So if that's something that's interesting to you, you can certainly take a look at that. All right, folks. Good to talk to you. I gotta say, like Brandon Green is so amazing. Every time he talks, I learn something. He's been a great mentor of mine. And really think about everything he said. And during this time that we're going through, he's been through it. He's been through the 2008 crisis and he's been through different obstacles in business and life. And I've learned so much from him. Nothing but great things to say about him. And our next guest that I'm about to bring up is someone I actually met through Brandon Green. And her name is Jenna Burt. You know, Jenna is in the Cedar Rapids area. She's selling a lot of real estate. She's killing it in her business. And what I love about Jenna is she's very social. She is going to be talking about Instagram. She's going to be talking about even TikTok, which she's the one that got me into TikTok. She has a few videos out there. I think have over half a million views on TikTok and how she utilizes TikTok, Instagram, all these different social media platforms for her business, and even more so right now. She talks about the different things she's sharing on social media and how being authentic and real and sharing the wins and losses in business and how people can connect with you. Like I said before, people buy from people. When they can connect with you on a deeper level, she talks about how she shares inside her life with her kids and her family. Some great tips she's gonna share with you. And uh, I just, I love everything about Jenna. We've uh, had the opportunity to work together. We've been on set together. It's always fun creating content with her and you're gonna love this message. Here it is. Brandon, thank you so much for having me. Hello, everyone. I hope you are doing great, even amidst all of this chaos that's kind of happening around us right now. My name is Jenna Burt, and I am a realtor and the owner of a top tier home team with Keller Williams Legacy Group here in the Cedar Rapids, Iowa metro area.
I specialize and focus primarily in residential, um, but anywhere really from land and acreage properties to luxury homes, first time home buyers and, and everything in between. So I am excited to talk to you today about just about some tips on how to really be out there and still be in front of your clients, your customers, your friends, your family, um, and everyone during this time. And so the biggest tip that I have is stay in front of them on social media. Social media is truly everything. You need to be using every platform in every possible way. So that's not just your Facebook page, that's also your Facebook story and events and publishing out different events, as well as Instagram, Instagram stories, Snapchat, putting it on your Snapchat story, all of these things, right? There are so many different facets and avenues of every social media platform. You really have to be on all of them because your clientele and your viewers, your followers is different. It's different on every platform. So what you get out of it for your business is going to be different on every single one. So first and foremost, use them all, be in front of them all the time. While using them, here are some tips that I have that work really well for me. Um, and I know that they can work well for you. So first of all, be real, be vulnerable, show what's happening in your life and how you're handling all of this and what's happening with your business. People don't want to just see the rainbows and butterflies and sunshine because that's not what they're going through. They want to see that you're relatable. So post photos, post videos of what you're doing every single day. If you have children that are home from school, talk about it, share about it. Your people and the people that, that you know and that know you want to see how you're handling it too because it can be so tremendously helpful just to know that someone else is going through what you're going through. So share videos maybe of a lesson plan or something that you're doing that day and, and how you're taking the time to really help them still and, and help your, your children because it'll help them. For example, um, this morning, I, I am very fortunate that we actually still get lesson plans and stuff from school, but one of those that we have is for art. And so we went around and we found objects around our house, right? And made a color wheel with them using objects around our house. So I share about it and have people who, who love that. So just be out there, be real, be vulnerable, share what's happening. While you're sharing what's happening, right, in real estate, we have to be in a house in order for people to buy a house, right? Or, or have, have houses that are coming on the market and everything. So talk about what you're doing to make sure that you're still following the CDC guidelines, making sure that you're still caring about others' safety and health because the last thing you want is being out there on social media and people being your careless. So show videos of you changing out gloves in between appointments. Show videos and photos of you using wipes, use sanitizer wipes to open a lockbox and things like that. Be out there, once again, still be out there, but be out there so that they know that you do care exactly about what's happening and care about, about flattening the curve, right? Because that's what it's about. So um, another really good tip and good thing that's been helpful and has gotten a lot of great response from me during this time is be helpful. So there are different ways to be helpful and actually show people how to use their time wisely. One big one is show them what they can do around their house. For me, it's a little bit different. I've got a background in um, remodeling, flipping houses, building new construction, all of that. But it doesn't take too much effort to show somebody that, hey, you can actually spray paint your bathroom hardware. So if you have brass hardware, take it off, get a black spray paint. They make one that looks like an oil rub bronze, spray it and put it back up and it looks like a completely new bathroom. So just little things go around, whether it's at your house or, or if you have a listing, a vacant property or a client that's comfortable with you going to their house and kind of doing a video tutorial of these different things, sharing that is going to give your people something to do, right? It's going to show your friends, your family, clients, past, current, future, all of them, right? Different things that they can do while they're stuck at home, staying in and being quarantined. Second thing is give your people video walkthroughs. Don't just go and take a video and post it online. No, plan it. Be very diligent and strategic and 
um, and specific with the time that you're putting into this. So make sure that you go through, do a virtual open house essentially, right? Because we're not going to have open houses and have tons of people through these pro through all of these properties, not only for our sellers, but I mean, also for the other people, you don't want to be mixing that. So do a virtual tour, take a day, take an afternoon if you're able to, and go around to vacant properties um, and do a virtual tour. You can do it at Occupied if your seller is comfortable, use the proper precautions, of course, but just go through, take videos, and then schedule them out. Make events on your social media just like you would for your other um, open houses, for your traditional open houses. Make an event, do it post the video. There are ways that you can post a video onto Facebook and then share it again as a live video. So that's really there. You can be online. You can be engaging and be present with your people and with your audience. Show them that they can still continue their search from the comfort of, from the comfort of their own home while practicing safe social distancing. So share those videos. Last but not least, when you're out there on social media, social media, be yourself, you guys. Be silly, be goofy, show your personality. Um, one of my favorite social media platforms is TikTok. It, it is something that's still able to be used for business. I mean, I'm out there and I am doing silly videos, doing the funny dance videos. I'm in the too old for TikTok group, but that's okay. You know what? Because it just shows how I am and I can still influence these, these potential realtors someday, right? They might be realtors someday or even their parents show about the house, show about those things and, and be out there. So use all the platforms, be vulnerable, be real with them, be helpful, show tips and tricks that they can do, be yourself, be silly. And, and that's what it's all about. Be out there, use social media during this time because it is going to be exponentially helpful when all of this kind of is over and we're able to really rebuild and, and just exponentially grow and scale up to this. So that's what I've got for you today. Thank you so, so much for having me. If you have any questions, if you want to talk to me, get a hold of me. You can find me all social media platforms. It's at Mrs. Jenna Burt or my phone number, call text anytime, 319-214-2400. I'll talk to you soon and have a great day. The big takeaway for Jenna, what I took away anyway, is authenticity. Be yourself, share your wins, share your losses. Some people are afraid to share the times where things aren't going right. But the thing is, social media, if you're always sharing the wins, then that doesn't make you human. People want to see that vulnerability, that different side of you. And this is where I really encourage people to share their story, share, share their background, more of who they are, because we've all been through something. And the more you share that, the more you have the ability to connect with other people. So share it all. Be authentic. Be real. Share the wins and losses. In her case, she was sharing with her kids and when she was um, actually going through schooling them right now and everything else. Share inside your life and everything it is that you do. Because again, I'll say this again and again and again. People buy from people they know, they like and trust, and people they can connect with. So you build that common connection through sharing your story. The next person we have is somebody who is very authentic and real and, well, he's funny. He's a guy that knows his strength is being funny and creating funny content. And, you know, I've had the honor to work with him in creating a very funny commercial you're actually going to get to see. It's the real estate, or actually the Dollar Shave Club real estate style that we worked with him in creating this. It was a fun commercial that became a hit. Uh, but, you know, Dan's been creating video content for a long time. Before I even met him, he was creating video content. He talks about how it's helped his business and everything he's doing today with it. It's really put him on the map. He's in the Denver, Colorado area. And then also, I love the power of how he's built relationships with other people. He's going to talk about some things he's doing right now to build quality relationships with his past clients, future clients, and things that you can apply right now, you can do from the convenience of your home. So I, we're, this is going to be funny, by the way. You're going to laugh. I'm going to laugh. Let's jump right in with Dan Gomer.
Hey everyone, my name is Daniel Gomer. I'm a realtor here in the Denver metro area. Uh, born and raised here, so been here my whole life and been doing real estate now for about nine years. And uh, today I'm just going to talk a little bit about how I've been able to uh, to build my business from a, a point of uh, kind of frustration at the beginning to uh, to a place where it's you know uh, successful and, and I'm actually enjoying what I'm doing. Um, so before I begin, I'll just tell you a little bit about my background. Um, I was actually a teacher before I got into real estate. I was a middle school science teacher. I did that for about seven years, so I did my time, and then I got out. And uh, when I got out, I, I, um, I went straight into flipping. I took a loan from my in-laws and started flipping properties. And so for anybody who has ever flipped a house, uh, you know that it's, uh, you know, it's very high risk, high reward, very exciting, all of those things, but it's also uh, very challenging. And after about three years of doing that, I realized that, you know, I think there's easier ways to make money in real estate. And so um, at that point, I decided I was going to shift gears and uh, you know work with people in more of a traditional real estate role and help people buy and sell houses and do that whole thing. And so I thought what I would do is I would just take all of the experience and I got a lot of experience in those three years and just kind of leverage that experience to let people know how good I was at what I did and how much knowledge I had. And I would, I would use that to help grow my business. Um, unfortunately, what I found is that um, people didn't really care too much about how much information I had in my head. Um, and that really surprised me. They cared much more about what I knew about them. Um, they cared about the relationships. And so I went from trying to build a business uh, that was that was focused on you know what I know and what I can provide um, that wasn't really building anything. Um, and then um, I shifted into how do I provide value and how do I connect with people on a personal level? And so once I started doing that, that's when my business really started to take off. And so that's what I'm going to talk with you a little bit about today is how I was able to build those connections and, and what worked for me in my business. And so um, first of all, you know, it really comes from being outward focused, right? That's the that's going to be the biggest component of this whole thing. It's it's thinking outward. Um, how can I provide value to my friends and my family? Because that's most of who our clients are, right? So we want to provide value anyway. Um, and and how do we connect with those people? Once again, it's our friends and family. We're going to want to connect with them anyway. And so I did that through you know a, a handful of ways, and I've developed a few systems over the years. Um, one of the one of the ways that um, has been very successful for me is um, doing CMAs. I do CMAs for my clients every single year. Um, it really helps me build those relationships with them because I get to provide something of value more so than just a computer generated thing. Um, and on top of that, I get to have a conversation with them, a personal conversation and a business conversation. Um, you know, uh, one other thing that that I just want to kind of touch on. You know, I was talking a little bit about being outward focused. Um, a good example of that, um, you know, happened just the other day. Uh, we're all dealing with the coronavirus right now. You guys know how, how that is. Everybody's kind of meh right now, not really wanting to deal with all of this. Um, and so, you know, I just started thinking, okay, I've got to continue communicating with my my friends and my my clients. How can I do that? And so what I decided I would do is I'd buy all these little cake towers from a, a local cake shop, these little bunk cakes. And I sent them out to 30 people and I just put this stupid little note in there that was, I can't remember what it said, but it was just something funny about the coronavirus. And I sent it out to 30 people, knowing that at the very least it was just going to make them smile, right? So it's about connecting with people and, and doing something that um, just makes them form a positive uh, emotion, you know, when they connect with me. Um, there's lots of other ways to do that. You know, I probably meet seven to 15 different people a week um, for coffees, happy hours, lunches, um, inviting people over, um, client appreciation parties. I do a barbecue every year, a day at the lake, um, take people to games. You know, all of these things where it's really just about um, finding ways to get in front of people and and here I think is one of the key components about building relationships. It's not about me. It's about you. It's about the people that I'm connecting with. Um, it's about really having a genuine uh, appreciation and a genuine care for what's going on in their life and figuring out how you can provide value for that person individually. And so as I started building my business and I started asking these questions, how can I be outward focused? How can I provide value? Um, how can I connect with more people? 
that's when my business really started to take off. Um, you know, and, and uh, oh, one other thing that I do that's that's been super valuable is notes, personal notes. I try to do you know four or five a week, handwritten notes, and send them out. Uh, you know, most of the time nobody says anything about them, but they're meant to be inspirational. In fact, I've, I've started calling them soul lifting notes instead of personal notes because it's something to make them smile um, and, uh, you know, make them feel good. Um, another thing that, uh, that, that I do um, that, that I think really kind of helps create that connection between me and other people without having to physically be in front of people is video. Um, so I've found a lot of value in video. Um, I've created a lot of different types of video. I've got a Facebook show where I just interview people where the essence of the show is that, uh, everybody has an interesting sh uh, story to share. So, um, I, anybody can be on my show and I just talk to them and, uh, we just talk about what they're doing. Um, that's done very well. Um, I use a lot of humor in my videos, so I've got a lot of funny videos out there. Those seem to land really well and get, you know, a really good reaction from people. And, um, you know, and I, I feel like people get to know me um, as I put more videos out and I don't have to necessarily be, you know, in front of them physically all the time to uh, build that relationship. So I find video to be very powerful in that way. And um, it's also been a creative outlet for me. And so by having that creative outlet, I think it keeps my energy up. Um, you know, uh, people will come up and say, oh, I saw your video about this and that. And like, boom, there's a conversation starter. So, um, you know, but it's just, it, it keeps my energy up high, which makes it easier for me to connect with people. So at the end of the day, like I was saying before, what it really comes down to for me anyway, in my business, and, and this goes for, uh, let's say somebody is, um, uh, door knocking or somebody is doing open houses or somebody is doing cold calling. This relationship piece still applies. Even if that's how you're getting your leads, as you get those leads and you close them out by building those relationships over time, by, by doing client events, by doing happy hours, by doing all of these things, you're going to keep them as repeat clients. You're going to bring them into your sphere. You're going to create a relationship where they become a friend. And that's how your business is really going to grow. At least that's how it's been in, in my experience. Uh, it doesn't matter where the lead comes from or anything. It matters that they now become part of your family, so to speak. So I'm going to leave you today with uh, with <laughs> one of my favorite videos that I created. It was um, you know, something that I had uh, r r uh, written the script for you know, and then I sat on it for a while and finally I was able to put this video together and, um, you know, it was kind of one of those things that did really well. It's got a lot of humor. If you've ever seen Dollar Shave Club, it's, it's very similar to that, except it's, you know, it deals with real estate and, uh, you know, it was, it, it created this, it, opening for me to continue to make these videos, which once again, you know, help to build those relationships for me. So I'm going to leave you today with, uh, the Dollar Shave Club video for Daniel Gomer. What's up? My name is Dan, founder of dangomer.com. What is dangomer.com? Well, do you realize that you may only have days to get your next home under contract? We make your next move happen. Because we know what the f we're doing. I got gotcha. you. Yes! I'm so happy! So, if you're doing the same thing as everybody else, it's time to step up your game. I get it. Buying or selling a house can be tough. You're probably too busy day trading like a champ. No! Or dominating your adult basketball league. You can't guard me all day. So when it's time to sell your home, you need a pro. We make this process so easy, you're gonna to wanna to do it again, and again, and again. Well, I know your cousin's wife's friend just got her real estate license and she can totally hook you up. Oh my god, every house that I sell, it totally has a roof on it. But at the end of the day, it's time to look at your home for what it really is. Your biggest investment. Um, are you talking about me? Yeah. We're not just selling houses. We're also making friends. We are dangomer.com, and it's time to make your next move. Yeah!
So I, I love that video. Uh, there's so much fun to that. That was an interesting project. If you notice, I was in a couple scenes. I got clotheslined, and uh, I was the guy that was screaming, yeah! Uh, that was a good time uh, creating that commercial. And Dan was telling me how that helped him get on the map in terms of people noticing him and, and knowing him for that video and knowing, hey, what's Dan going to come up with next? And it's really interesting how he's, he's created that brand for himself in terms of being funny. So if you're a funny kind of person, just be funny. Be yourself. Be your authentic self. What works for you? For me as a person, I'm known as the, the motivational guy and, and pushing you to do more. Dan's known as being the, the jokester, always laughing and creating funny content. So what is it that you want to be known for and what's your style of being uh, on camera? How are you going to be on camera? He found his niche in terms of being funny and uh, I really love that video. But also I love what he talked about building relationships. He said it's not about me. It's about you. Understanding it's about your clients. is how can you help them? He really wants to really help people on a high level. And the other day he was telling me how he sent out 30 cakes to all his past clients. And also he does the hand notes. He'll try to make the commitment to do five hand notes, personal or written notes, every single day to send to past clients or just potential leads. And it's really that quality touch, that personal touch that you do with your audience. So how can you do that in your business? What can you do in your business to have that quality touch and be able to add massive value to your audience in a very unique way that most people aren't doing? It's, it's, it's standing out and being different. And I really loved everything you did here. And the next person we're gonna bring on is he's really added a touch to people's homes in terms of a way that helps them sell more homes. And he's not a real estate agent, but he is a home stager. And who I'm talking about is Jonathan Miller. Jonathan Miller is killing it in his space. Video creation, creating video content and jumping on Instagram is what blew up his business. Made him one of the top businesses in home staging across the country. He's out of the Richmond, Virginia area. He actually teaches a class on branding for real estate and he's worked with a lot of real estate agents on a day in and day out basis. And he's gonna share with you in this video in terms of how he's helped his real estate agents with selling homes, selling at a higher rate, higher price, getting more for their sales and why it's important to stage your home. And he's gonna give some very tactical information in terms of things you can do on social media and just really communicating your brand to the world. I had the honor to work with Jonathan. We've done a lot of filming together, had some fun in different cities creating video content, and he's really taken video to a whole new level. He has a great message to share with you. I know you're gonna love this. Let's jump right in with Jonathan Miller. Hey everyone, I'm Jonathan Miller, home staging expert, national speaker, and owner of J Squared Interior Staging and Design, located in beautiful Richmond, Virginia. Why should you stage a listing? Well, when it comes to marketing a property, next to photography, home staging is the resource that should be mandatory across the board. Especially in today's market, home staging is an on-the-surface solution that really makes a property more attractable and livable to potential buyers. The best part? The home sells faster, you get top dollar, meet your fiduciary responsibility, and you're not having to do any reductions. Not having reductions equal referrals. Referrals enhance your brand and your community image. Those word of mouth referrals are the most effective way to raise awareness and grow your real estate business. In fact, people are 84% more likely to trust a referral or a recommendation if it comes from a friend. So when you stage a property properly, and I'm not talking about light staging with just art over the mantle and a rug on the floor, I mean fully doing it the right way, you're creating a buzz and a fast sale. You essentially just created yourself a brand ambassador with that client. They're gonna sing your praises for years to come. So when it comes to branding, you need to be doing that individually as well as an agent. So how do you make that happen like big companies such as Amazon, Disney, Netflix, Hulu, and so on. The strength of their name recognition is huge. They don't change their logos a lot. They're very consistent. Whenever their names are said, their logo pretty much pops in your mind immediately. If it doesn't, you at least know what they're selling. It doesn't matter whether you're using their products or not, you still know them. They've seared into your mind like a branding iron. Yep. Did you picture old Bessie or maybe that commercial that for burgers that had the burger thing stamped into it with an A plus? I do not recall at all what 
the company was that sold those burgers, but I do remember the branding promise being that the burger would be the best I ever had. You want to be the best agent that that client's ever had. A lot of real estate agents think that because they're under the umbrella of a big company, they don't need to worry about branding. What if you want to open your own company one day, though? You've got to have that reputation to actually still have clients and referrals if you did open your own brokerage. So with most agents feeling like branding is not important in the industry, they automatically think they can sell anything. But it's not about what you can sell, my friend. It's about if that person remembers you after you sold it to them. Because those referrals are what you need to keep growing. The fact is, the real estate world is extremely crowded. Different agents are offering so many of the same services and capabilities. Having a solid, recognizable, and memorable brand can help you stand out from the crowd and put you in a position to win more business. It's a no-brainer. This is how finding the right home staging company and the right photographer can elevate you to a level that becomes recognizable. Many agents are typically bad planners. It just happens. They rush and rush, call people up at the last minute, and then they get really pissed and trash that company when that company can't jump when they say jump. Well, that's unfair. You wouldn't want it happening to you, but because they've been taught by older agents to have multiple vendors on speed dial, when really all they need to do is plan ahead, they are hurting their own brand. By planning ahead, you're giving yourself name recognition. There's another not so obvious benefit to being consistent with your branding. It is giving you capabilities recognition. So you really need that more than anything to have that, you know, referrals coming in. You want your name synonymous with your product or service. It's powerful and you don't get that kind of client loyalty by not bringing the same product to the table time after time. Brand consistency ultimately affects what people think about you and your team also. The more consistent your messaging, the more consistent your branding, the more consistent your videos, the more referrals you're actually gonna bring in. By using the same photographer, the same staging company, and other contractors, you're developing a specific look in an individual brand. You're showing what you as an agent are bringing to the table. Over time, potential buyers and sellers will start to recognize that you aren't a fly by the seat of your pants kind of agent who is worse than a bad politician smiling, kissing babies, and then never delivering on their promises. Being consistent will build awareness and develop trust, loyalty, and you're gonna end up working with the clients that you actually want to work with. Each vendor you utilize is an artist in their own way. I know my company is different, our look is different than other companies out there. How do you actually find the one that works for you? Every photographer has a specific style and you don't wanna leave your brand open to that variety of interpretations by using seven different photographers. Um, you're gonna get whoever you need to sometimes to complete the task and that's not gonna change your image in any way. You've gotta do the legwork in the beginning really um, or if you wanna rebrand yourself. I say have a listing staged take three different sets of photographs. Decide whose photos you prefer and stick with that photographer. Book them in advance, build that loyalty with them, and they will always be available when you call them, even if it's at the last minute. We have agents who are like that with us. I know from the beginning they're an amazing agent, but at the same time, organizing and planning is not their forte. So we've got a good relationship, we've got that brand consistency, and when they call, I figure out a way to make things happen by the date they need it. By building that brand loyalty with your vendors, it's going to be consistent across the board, and then you're going to always get the job done. You want to develop those standards for brand consistency on and offline. It shows that every interaction with customers you have, that you're going to be able to embody the promise and promises and values you're preaching to them when you're doing that sales call. You want to also make sure that your social media branding is consistent in that way. Um, let's say that you get a phone call from Samantha Swift. She's saying that she was referred by Sally to call you because you're the best. You're going to change and use a, sp a specific tone as you talk to Samantha. You're going to sell her on the listing and or while you're the best agent for the listing and you're going to show her at the same time how thankful you are for that referral by taking good care of her. 
Now, before Samantha called you, likely she checked out your social media. So it's essential that your online brand personality, that you have video, photos, captions, everything is in the same order. You wanna show your best qualities that you're gonna be bringing to the table, not fake qualities. Because before Samantha Swift ever called you, she probably checked this out. And having that voice there and those videos, you're bringing authenticity to your brand and you're developing another loyal customer to add to your follower base. Sometimes people say, I just don't have time to do it and all this. And so then we hire someone to take over our social media accounts. Well, you have to be 100% certain that who you hire has your values and your passion and they can post for you in your voice. Otherwise, you're going to lose clients and revenue. However, if that happens, don't despair. It happens to us all. Literally. It happened to me last year and cost me $11,000. I hired someone who didn't have the same passion for my business and it showed in the content that was being posted. So you've got to be diligent and you've got to research whoever you hire to make sure they have that same passion as you do so you still get the sales. Consistency is just the biggest key. It's the most important part of building a successful social media audience. By being consistent with your brand's account, you will become recognizable. It's just gonna happen. If you wanna grow faster, turn on the video. Instagram's a very active video community and it's so crucial to connect with people around you, other influencers and brands that have the same kind of image. It's gonna help you grow. You're going to be more consistent. You're going to show growth. You're going to become a bigger deal and a bigger agent. So until next time, I'm Jonathan Miller. I hope you're having a great day. You can always find me on jsquaredrva.com and on pl all platforms at jsquaredrva. So talk to you soon. Jonathan really pounded home the power of your brand. What people are thinking about when they see your stuff. What is your brand? I want to go back to that. What does your brand stand for? Do you have a brand? If not, what are the things you're going to do to build your brand? Like he's been able to do through Instagram, through creating video content, through helping agents sell their homes faster with home staging and creating the right content for that home and them actually cross promoting for each other. So what are you doing right now to build your brand? Branding is everything. I'm telling you right now, an opportunity for you right now is be able to grow your brand so you can attract more leads and, and doing it from being at home because we're in this quarantine and even afterwards. So right now as you're at home, you can start creating content, consistent video content, sharing on social media so when you do go outside and you can go out and about more, then you can have this habit built up of creating content for your brand and sharing your story on social media. The next group I'm going to be bringing up here, a uh, great group. I recently actually just started working with their team one-on-one. -on -one. I'm doing weekly calls with them and helping them build their brand. And I'm, I'm talking about right now is the Hearn Group, James and Michael Hearn, who are two brothers in the Kansas City area. Great guys. I've known them for a couple of years now. They've built an empire in the Kansas City area and selling real estate, and they have a big team. I, I got to meet with the team here in person before all this happened about three weeks ago before COVID-19 hit hard and I uh, got to meet with them and just see everything they're doing. And they're already taking action in their business and creating video content. And I'm excited to have the Hearns share with you what they're doing during this, uh, this COVID-19 pandemic and just literally what's happening for them and how they're taking it on, how they're utilizing different things for their database, loving on their database, as they say, and adding massive value to them. And you're gonna love this, you're gonna learn a lot from these guys, they're seasoned, veterans, entrepreneurs, and uh, real estate agents, and they're doing big things in their business. So let's jump right in with James and Michael Hearn. Here it is. James Hearn and Michael Hearn with the Hearn Group coming to you here from our hub operation, our headquarters here in Kansas City. Uh, the Hearn Group is a large real estate company with inside of Keller Williams that uh, Michael and I have been blessed to be a part of for more than a decade. Uh, we've built a big business through great people like our team members and through great clients across the country. And we're coming to you today because we, we know a lot of agents out there and we know a lot of business folks that are trying to figure out what do we do in uh, this COVID-19 crisis. So uh, having been through 9-11, having been through the meltdown of 2007, 2008, and now something else new, uh, we thought we would share some of those things with you. 
And so what I, what I and Michael want to do today is give you a few tips of what might help you as a real estate agent and or business person get through some of these times. So Michael, what would be a tip or two? Uh, let's just start with one. What would be a tip that you would want to give uh, agents out there today? Well, I would say number, number one would be love on your database. And when I say that, I mean, you know, see how we can help them. You know, actually, you know, reach out to your folks and everybody wants someone to care about them and just, just see what's going on. Do they need, do they have all the supplies they need? Mm -hmm. Do they actually, are they actually effective, affected by COVID-19? Mm -hmm. And um, are they inside their house right now? And can we take supplies to them? Um, that's the first thing. Next thing is, I think, um, you know, let them know, educate them. That a lot of folks, their homes are largest investment. Mm -hmm. You know, educate them that the market right now, the market's great. Mm -hmm. And um, and let them know that we're finding ways uh, to be able to work through today's market because people are still going to need to buy homes, take advantage of the interest rates, and they're also going to need to sell homes. Um, and then uh, I also think that uh, help be the voice, you know, to our clients that, you um, you know, just let them know that what the media is telling them right now may not be exactly the full truth. Mm -hmm. And let them know that the market has not stopped. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is we need to put people first. Yes. We need to be asking what are their needs, what are their concerns, where are they at? So as you would say, meeting them where they're at and finding out exactly what they need. Also cautioning them to not get everything they learn from the media because sometimes there's some ulterior motives and or agendas there. Be searching out the best sources. I know uh, uh, the World Health Organization has some good information. The CDC has some good information to help give you uh, the best, most up-to-date of what is happening with COVID-19 right now. What are some other ways that we could help uh, a real estate agent open their eyes to some things they should be doing right now that will help their business. I think also would be pivot. You know, we're going to have some wins and we're going to have some losses and uh, don't get too high on the wins and don't get too low on the losses. Mm -hmm. And we need to just make sure that, um, that we may not win every day, but let's make sure winning and we're winning enough days during the week to win the week and win enough weeks to win the, to, to, to win the month. Right. Right. Uh, and uh, Michael, I agree with you and being flexible and pivoting and, and having a plan A, B or C, whatever's necessary. I know that I was listening to a John Max Maxwell podcast and uh, he was saying that crisis requires adaptability. Mm -hmm. So we have to adapt. And he used, he equated that to one of your favorite analogies, which is football and coaching. He, he loves a, a good, good game. And many times the coaches, well, every time, they prepare their plan of how they're gonna attack that game day one. And they go in and they don't always have things go the way they hoped they would go. Right. So luckily they have a halftime so they can go in and make adjustments. He said we need to make those adjustments on what you know, not on what you thought. Mm -hmm. So we sometimes think this is going to happen as an agent or this is going to happen as a business person. And when it doesn't, we have to have a plan, a strategy to go a different direction and pivot. So you're absolutely right, Michael. That is very, very good information. What, if anything else, would you be telling a real estate agent or a business owner out well, there? Well, I would say with the current climate as well, you uh, need to take your business digital. Digital. And you need to make sure that um, that we are reaching um, with our listings, with our buyers. We're doing uh, we're doing Zoom calls, Zoom mm -hmm. digital digital consultations for buyers and sellers. Mm -hmm. The same thing with um, you know digital tours, um, you know other properties. Mm -hmm. And uh, life goes on. We just have to we have to to, to navigate through it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the great thing is with what we have out there with uh, with the internet. Uh, you know, we can definitely show their properties. We can definitely communicate with people. Very true. Very true. I know some of our title companies even are doing in the car closings. Mm -hmm. They'll bring the documents out to you. You can sign in the car and never even have to go into the, to the actual office. Uh, we have been very, very fortunate where we're at that our services have been deemed essential. So for now, at least that's how we're progressing and we're doing business as close to normal as we can possibly do it. But as Michael said, going digital. So, we need to be, and you need to be doing that right now, making those adaptations that will help you to continue to 
keep your business intact. Because what we're talking about is a hiccup here, folks. Uh, this may feel like it's the end of the world. It is not. Uh, things will come back to normal. As I said, we've lived through several major things in this business uh, over the past two decades. Those things just happen. And so the best things we can do, put people first, right. educate ourselves, be finding information from the right spots, right. Uh, not believing everything we hear and overreacting uh, and being flexible, having a plan, but being flexible to adjust that plan as times times warrant. And as you say, remembering this too shall pass. Yes, yes, this too shall pass. So uh, hopefully those things are helpful to you with where you're at. We know that you may need more information or have questions, we are happy to help. You can reach us at 816-529-4949 to just reach out and call. You can find us at hernhomes.com or at info at hernhomes.com. We're happy to help in any way we can, but we appreciate you giving us the time and, and, and the opportunity to help pour into your business today. So we thank you, have a great day. It was great to hear from James and Michael Hearn, everything they're doing, taking on COVID-19, how they're supporting their team, supporting their database and everybody that they've worked with in the past. And I want you to think about who are the people you can call up and see, hey, how can I help you? What can I do for you? I'm here for you during this time of need. Um, maybe you can create a video for them, send them something, do something to let them know you care. That's the biggest thing right now. People are gonna remember you for how you are taking on this current situation. Are you taking it on with a bad attitude or are you taking it on with a positive attitude and letting people know that you're there for them, you're there to support them? You know, we learned a lot today from so many great agents, everything they're doing to build their brand influence online, to attract more leads, to take everything on for their business during COVID-19. And there's so much here, but there's so much more you can learn. And I want to be able to provide something for you, a special opportunity for you being here, being here this long so far, spending a little over an hour with us and learning from these different agents, everything they're doing in their business. And I, you're investing in yourself. You're investing your time to be here, to be able to grow your business and grow everything that you're doing in your business. So I want to provide this special opportunity for you, for you now that's nowhere else. It's going to be right here for you. I want to reward you for being here and give you the opportunity to work with me and everything I'm doing with my Success Academy. You know, I've put together a Real Estate Success Academy where I've worked with a lot of real estate agents from all over the country in terms of building their brand influence online and helping them attract more leads, sell more homes, attract people, their team, and do different things that can help them with growing their real estate business. And everybody you heard from today is actually a member of my Success Academy. They're clients that I've worked with one-on-one -on -one and helped them in growing their brand and influence and selling more homes. So today, I wanna to provide you a special opportunity to join the Real Estate Success Academy and give you the opportunity to work with me and be in the academy to learn. And here's what the opportunity is gonna be. What you're gonna uh, what you're gonna have access to is the Real Estate Success Academy. And I'm gonna go through everything, all the value that it has to offer and what it can do for you and your business and everything you could be doing right now to grow your real estate business during the situation we're in. So first off, you're gonna give you access, the ability to have access to the academy, uh, lifetime access. So I'm actually looking at doing this real soon where it's a yearly membership to be able to be a part of this group. There's a lot of different agents from all over the country that are in this group. I'm looking at doing a yearly membership. Right now I'm offering you access, a lifetime access if you join today. And that gives you access to over 80 video trainings, modules, and things that are teaching you how to create video content, what to say in front of the camera, what to do on social media. I have interviews with experts in, in real estate and other spaces that are sharing how they built their brand influence online and how you can apply in your business. So access, lifetime access to the Academy, that's a $997 value. I'm gonna give you access to our private Success in Your City Facebook group. That is a group full of agents from all over the country, marketers and people that have been a part of our Success in Your City TV show. I'm in the group answering questions, posting content daily, and I give you access to that as well. That's a $297 value. Also, you're gonna have direct, direct access to ask me any kind of questions in terms of anything. If you're in the group, you can ask me questions on your brand, any marketing questions, anything with your business, and just so you know, for what I charge 
for coaching, it is $1,000 an hour. So being able to ask me questions through email or through this group is priceless. It's an opportunity for you to be able to get direct access from me and learn from me and ask me any kind of questions that relate to you and your brand. And also, as a bonus, actually everybody you heard from today, I've done separate interviews with them that are longer format videos that they share everything. They go deep into everything they talk about even more in terms of what they're doing in their business, different tactics, strategies that they're applying. And so you're gonna get access to interviews with all of our guests today. Uh, gonna give you access to that as well. And the value of that, I would have to say, is at least a $497 value. The things you can learn just from one of them in terms of what it can do for your business, that you could sell one more home, what would that be worth to you? Or even one more home a month. Then as a bonus, I have more bonus material in here. If you're ever thinking about writing a book, I have content on how you can write your own book and how to take it to becoming a bestseller. I've wrote multiple books in the process of doing that. So that is a $397 value. I have a podcasting module in terms of how you can create your own podcast show. How I've helped other agents create their own podcast show. How I've created my own show that has over 400 episodes of Live to Grind podcast. I have a training on that. That's a $497 value. I have how you can become a keynote speaker, how you can get paid to speak and use your speaking business to help you in your real estate business and what it does for you. I have training on that, which is a $797 value. I can show you how to put your own, your own events. I put on over 100 events of my own across the country. And I've spoken at well over 200 events as a speaker, doing mastermind events, trainings, charitable events. And we have training that goes over how to put on your own events, what I've learned, the mistakes I've made, and how you can create your own event that's actually profitable. That is a $297 value. And then also, there's new content coming every single month. So I create content every single month that I put into the academy so you can learn and stay up to date in everything I'm doing, whether I'm interviewing some of my friends who are very influential or doing big things in business or in real estate, or just creating updated content from everything I'm learning in my business and everything I'm doing to help with my top real estate one-on-one -on -one clients. And that, again, that's priceless. Everything here today, the value of all this, if you had all this put together in one, it's over a $3,282 value. Over $3,282 worth of value. And today, for one price of $397, you can get access, lifetime access to the Academy. Again, that's $397 to get access to the Academy. And there's only a limited amount of spots I'm doing this because, again, like I said before, we're gonna be making this where it's an annual fee, but I'm giving you access lifetime to join the Real Estate Success Academy for you. And before I share a little bit more, I wanna share uh, just some messages from some of the people that are in the Academy. Here it is. Hi, my name is Brandon Green. I'm a real estate entrepreneur. I own a variety of real estate businesses and I've been working through Brandon T. Adams Real Estate Success Academy and there's some incredible value in there. Brandon has helped me a lot in growing my own digital presence and my brand online. And, and if you're in real estate or frankly any business right now, you've gotta be focused on that. So I highly recommend that you participate in the Academy and in the program. There's a lot of value in there and Brandon himself adds a tremendous benefit to your life. Highly recommend it. Hey, my name is Katie and I'm a real estate agent with Keller Williams Capital Properties in Northern Virginia. If you are involved in any type of customer service industry, whether that's real estate or you want to be a public speaker or maybe write a podcast or a book or even be on a TV show, uh, Brandon T. Adams Success Academy Online is the place to start. Uh, the tools I'm gaining from the Success Academy has really helped me step up my game when it comes to video content and building my brand and influence online. So thank you very much, Brandon, for stepping in and being such a great role model uh, for me and my business uh, because that helps me go out and service more customers and help um, more first-time home buyers. Hey everyone, Jenna Burt here, licensed realtor and the owner of Top Tier Home Team with Keller Williams Legacy Group in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. I just want to take a second to give a huge shout out to Brandon and thank him for all of his coaching and the advice that I've gotten from him. The value that he brings to the Real Estate Success Academy has truly exponentially helped me grow my brand, my business, and my influence online. It has helped me gain opportunities that I, I may not otherwise have had. So I highly, highly suggest that you join the Real Estate Success Academy. It is a game changer.
So many amazing people. I love the success stories, of everybody in the academy. Um, everything they're doing their business, I, I love seeing them succeed and I want you to be the next success story for your business and joining the Success Academy for Real Estate Agents. There's so much this can do for you. So much can do for your brand, your influence, everything you're doing, selling homes. Just think, ask yourself this, would it be worth it if you could sell one more home in the next 30 days? Or what if you could sell one more home a month? What if it can make you the go-to agent, the known agent, the celebrity agent, the shark in your space, in your city, because the things you're gonna learn in this to help you create video content, to share your story. Not only making money and selling more homes, but what about the people's lives you're going to impact? You know, every single day when I'm creating content, there's people that are impacted by the content I put out. The people that reach out and say, wow, that empowered me, that impacted me. The things that can do for you and your audience. You can inspire somebody with your story. And in the academy, I'm going to share with you how you can share your story, how to communicate your message on camera and how to do it in the right way. So I want to go through here one more time everything you're going to get with this. You're going to get lifetime access to the academy. That is lifetime access, not an annual fee. Once you're in, you're in. Um, that is $997 value. You're going to get the private academy Facebook group. You're going to get in that. It's a $297 value. You're going to get direct access to me to ask questions through the group and through email. Any questions you have for your brand. And then also as a bonus, you're gonna get access to interviews from all the past guests here. We have other interviews that I put together um, that are more in depth than everything that you learned today. And they're gonna be sharing that with you. That is also in the academy. Videos from them sharing their best tips. And then also the bonuses. We have writing a publishing book. You wanna do that, I have training on that, a $397 value. Podcasting, how to create your own podcast show, create a brand online and, and speak to your audience through a podcast and build your brand influence online. That is a $497 value. If you ever thought about speaking, I'm gonna share with you how you can become a speaker and how to be get, get paid as a speaker. We have training on that. That's a 200 or actually $797 value. If you wanna put on your own events, I can show you how to put on over 100 events and I've spoke at over 200 events in the process of putting on events and how to actually make money at doing events. That's a $297 value. And also, getting new content from me every single month. I'm gonna be adding content there, creating content for you from interviews with top agents, interviews with some of my experts in branding, marketing, video production, and everything you can learn. And I'm gonna be bringing in content for you to stay on top of everything because as you know, with this digital world, everything's always changing give you all this. Again, it's over a $3,000 value, $3,282 value. But today, and today only, you're gonna get access for $397, and that's lifetime access. And also, because I believe in this product so much, and I know it's gonna change your life and change your business, I have a 30-day money-back guarantee. That means 29, 30 days from now, for some reason you feel like you didn't get your value, just let me know and I'll refund your money. I know that won't be the case, but you have nothing to lose, but all a game. Think about what this can do for you and your business by getting in the academy, by learning from other people, surrounding yourself with the right people. We're doing things at a high level. All the guests that are in here, by the way, just so you know, all the guests, the speakers today are in the Success Academy. You can learn from them. They're in the group as well. Learn from the top agents. My mentor always said, find somebody who's already achieved what you wanna achieve and learn from them, hire them. Get them to be able to help you with your business. So here's your defining moment right now. Here's your opportunity. You know, in the coming weeks here, whether you're in quarantine, wherever you're at, you have this opportunity to learn, to be able to learn these skills, this training, this content that you can utilize to be able to grow your business online and be able to do the things that maybe you couldn't do before. Utilize social media, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, all the different platforms and creating content and reaching your audience and attracting more leads. I go through all this in the academy. Again, you have the opportunity right now to join the Success Academy for $397. I would love to see you in it. I'd love to see you join. And I'll leave you on this. You know, I've learned that your thoughts determine what you want, but your action determines what you get. Everything I've ever done in my life and found success in, it was from taking massive action. And here's your opportunity today. Are you going to take action or are you gonna sit back? You know, some people say maybe next month, maybe Monday, maybe next year, whatever that may be. But what's a responsible thing to do for your business? What is a responsible thing to do to grow your business to attract more leads and attract more sales and build influence and help more people? I created this program specifically for you to help you grow your business and be able to do things that I know you can do. This training is gonna show you everything. 
Join the Success Academy. Click that link below. Join the Success Academy for Real Estate Agents. And I'm looking forward to joining you and uh, working with you in your business and helping you take it to the next level. Thank you all for joining today. I appreciate you. Um, feel free to share out any pictures or anything on social media. Tag us. You can tag me at Brandon uh, T. Adams or check out my website, BrandonTAdams.com. Wishing you the best and here is to your success. And please go out there, create something great and become unforgettable because life is too short not to. I'm Brandon T. Adams. Have a great day, everyone.